Okay, good day. So last time we've discussed the prob discrete probability distribution, how to compute its mean, variance, and standard deviation. Now we will discuss two types of probability distribution. Discrete probability distribution, we have the binomial probability distribution, and the Poisson. Now for this video, I will only discuss the binomial probability distribution and its application on word problems. So, if the probability has only two outcomes, or can be reduced to two outcomes, so the outcomes can be called either a success or failure, then these are called binomial experiment. Okay, so we have these uh, following requirements. So, there must be a fixed number of trials. Number two, each trial can only have two outcomes. <clears throat> so, it's either... Like for example, the head or tail, approve or disapprove, like or dislike, true or false. Okay, and uh, they must be mutually exclusive outcome. Now, the outcomes of each trial must be independent, meaning the outcome for trial 1 can't affect the other trial. So, uh, trial 1 can't affect trial 2 and other trials. Trial 2 can't affect the other trials 1, 3, and, all, and so on. So it can stand alone. And last, the probability of success is the same for each trial. Say, for example, when you toss a coin, the probability of getting ahead is always one half. So we have this formula. So this is the expanded form. Okay, so this is a, this two is for a combination. Okay, combination because we will uh, compute for the possible all possible combinations okay so in your calculator I think this is written the NCX other calculator may have this symbol and taken X and take note again from the previous slide so n is the number of trials this is the fixed trial X is the number of observed success. So this X must be in line with the success. It must be with success. And Q is the failure, the probability of failure, which can be computed as 1 minus P. And also, this uh, probability of success can also be computed by 1 minus Q. Okay, 1 minus Q. Take note that our X starts from 0. So, x can be 0, and it is bounded above by n, or we have this. Okay, now let's apply this in examples. So, example 1, in a survey, 25% of the people interviewed said they bought their refrigerator during the last 6 months. If 11 people are selected at random, find the probability that Exactly six of these people bought their refrigerator during the last six months. Okay, now let's label first. So our number of fixed trials or number of people here, random select, randomly selected people are 11. So N is 11. And we should find the probability that out of these 11 randomly selected people, exactly six brought or bought their refrigerator during the last six months take note when we talk about success the success here is all about this those people who bought their refrigerator during the last six months okay so six x is six and of course that is the success so take note on the first sentence this 25 percent of the people bought their refrigerator for the last six months so it's also it also talks about success so that is of course our probability of success 25 percent so that is in percentage so we cannot use that one in computation so we must convert that one to decimal so that is why we can divide it by 100 percent to get 0.25 Okay, now for Q, for the failure, we just have to use 1 minus P. Ah, okay, 1 minus P. 
So 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75. Hence, we're now ready to substitute the given values. So n, see, state note, n is always greater than x. n is always greater than x. Because if you interchange the values, of course, you will get an error in your calculation. So we have n taken uh, 6. So this uh, for the formula, we have n taken x, p to the x, q to the n minus x. Now, on your calculator, if you're using your calculator, you may use this n, c, x, times p to the x, times q to the n minus x. This one is for this part only. Okay, 11, taken 6. So, you may write this one on your, uh, on your calculator. 11, c, 6 times 0.25 raised to x is 6 times 0 0.75 raised to 11 minus 6. You will arrive to an answer of 0 0.0268. So the probability is very small that exactly 6 of these 11 people bought their refrigerator during the last 6 months. Okay. The probability that exactly six people bought a refrigerator during the last six months is 0 0.0268, which is very small. Now, example two, the Department of Labor and Employment found that 83% of the Filipinos think that having a college education is important to succeed in life. If a random sample of seven Filipinos is selected, find these probabilities. So we'll start with A. Exactly four people will agree with that statement. So meaning with that statement, so this is our success, that who will agree with this statement that having a college education is important. Now our N is the random sample, which is seven. And for letter A, exactly four, so X is equal to four. Now our probability is 0.83, which is given, so because 83% of the Filipinos agree to the statement. So that is the success. That, that is what what's we're talking about. Who oh, no, who will agree with that statement? So 0 0.83 and then the failure is 1 minus 0 0.83 is 0.70. Hence, substituting this to your formula. So on your calculator, you may use the 7C4. Okay, 7C4. So we'll have an answer of 0 0.0816. So it's very small again. It's almost 10%. Now let there be at most two people. So when we say at most, meaning that is the maximum number. So two, the maximum is two. So the, the symbol for this one is less than or equal to two. So x should be less than or equal to two. So what are the values of x? Less than 2, 2. Of course, 2 is equal to 2, 1, and of course, 0. 0 is the lowest, so we cannot go to the negative numbers. Take note, x, what is the value of x? x is between 0 to n inclusive. Okay. So that is why here our x's are 0, 1, and 2 because of the word at most. Again, our P and Q are fixed, so we have 0.83 and 0.17. They're still the same. Hence, we will compute these three. So, P of 0, we have this. So, this is 7, C0. This is 7, C1. And this is 7, C2. Okay? 7, C0, 7C1, and 7C2 for this 3. Okay? So, substituting this and using your calculator, you will arrive at this one. 
Now, if you will only use uh, four decimal places, so one, two, three, four. So you may write 0 0.000, and then you add. Okay? So in this case, I've written six here for the first one. Okay, and then I'll just add this three. So P of zero plus P1 plus P2 is equal to 0 0.002204. So the probability that at most two people will agree with that statement is 0 0.002204. It's very small. So it's good that only a small number of people uh, does not agree. To that statement. At most two, at most two. Only a small probability that they agree. Example two, uh, again, so let us see, this is the last one for example two, at least. So when we talk about at least, when we talk about at least, it is the smallest, so the minimum. So x is greater than or equal to Two, meaning x can be 2, 3, up to n, only n. So at least 5 people, so at, this is at least 5, I mean, so 5 people will agree with that statement. So we have 5, 6, and 7. Until 7 only because there are, or our n is only 5. There are only 7 people. So again, the P and Q are the same, 0.83 and 0.17. So we will compute for this 3. Again, this is 7C5 on your calculator. 7C6 and 7C7 for this 3. Okay, so substitute them on your calculator, on your formulas, then you will arrive with 0.8996. So it's good that lots of people out of the seven uh, agree to the statement that having a college education is important. The probability is somewhat high. Example three, suppose a life insurance company insures the lives of 4,000 women aged 50. If the actuarial studies show the probability that any 50-year-old woman will die in a given year to be 0.2%, find the exact probability that the company will have to pay five claims during a given year. Okay, so our N is 4,000, of course, this is our 4,000 women aged 50. Our x is 5, so we only have 5 claims. And since our probability here is 0.2%, so this is in percent, we'll dis divide this by 100%. So that's why we have 0 0.002. And our q is therefore 0.998. So substituting this on the formula, or, and, or the formula, and inputting this on your calculator, so this is 4,000. C5, okay, for this one, times this expression. So you will have 0 .00, uh, 0 0.0916. So the probability is small, only 10%. Example 4, according to a social survey, 90% of young professionals have motorcycles. Assume that this result holds true for the current population of young professionals. Find the probability that it, uh, in a sample of 10 young professionals, at least 9 have motorcycles. So at least 9. So at least 9. So 9 is the smallest. So we'll, we'll start with 9, 10, until 10 only because our N is 10. There are only 10 young professionals. Okay, our, pers our probability, we're talking about young professionals who have motorcycles. So, this 90%, they have motorcycles. So, this is our success. So, 90% divide by 100%, so we have 0.90. So, therefore, our Q is 0.10 or the probability of failure. So, greater than 9, greater than or equal to 9, so we'll compute for x equals 9 and x equals 
10. So compute this using your calculator. This is 10C9 and this is 10C10 on your calculator. So you will arrive with these values. So the probability is somewhat high that at least 9 have motor cycles. Example 5. The probability that a motorcycle will change lanes while making turn is 80%. Suppose a random sample of 16 motorcycles are observed making turns at Fordham Road and Jerome Avenue intersection. Find the probability that at least one motorcycle will change lines. So take note at least this is x greater than or equal to 1. So meaning our x is 1, 2, up to 16. Okay. Now take note, it is very long to solve for this one because we will solve for P1, P2, P3, P4, up to P16. Okay. Now, but before continuing with the solution, let's have first the given. Our given is n is 16. Our x again is 1 to 16 because it is at least 1. Our probability, so we're talking about while making turn. This 80% is while making turn, so that is our success. So we have 0.8 and q is 1.8. Now here, we will use the concept of complementation because it's very long to solve for p equals 1, p equals 2, p equals 3, and so on. Okay, so this is very long. Now, take note of this. This is the complementation. Now, if we consider this circle, the whole probability is 1 because that is the maximum probability, 100%. Now, if we divide this to, this one is at least 1. This is what we need. This is at least 1. So, this is x equals 1, 2, up to 16, okay? So what is missing here is only x equals 0, okay? Now, in order for us to find this, so because we need this, in order for us to find this, only this, we will erase or subtract this one, right? Because if we subtract this one, if we erase this part, then we will be left with this, which is what we need. Okay? That is why here, our solution is 1, the whole, minus x equals 0. Okay? So, the opposite. Take note that if we have this, say, for example, uh, k, greater than or equal to k, the Complement or the opposite of this, since this is greater than or equal, the complement is less than. So less than k. Okay? In the same way, if we have x less than or equal to k, the complement is greater than k. Okay? So the opposite. Now in this case, we have greater than or equal. So the complement is less than. So what is the value of x which is less than 1? It's only 0. So that is why we subtract only the probability of x equals 0. So using your formula and then your calculator, you will arrive at this. This is approximately 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. So this is approximately equal to 1. Okay. So almost 100% or 100% of them uh, will change lanes while making turn. Example 6. The probability that a patient will be cured of coronavirus when, inject with, uh, when injected with a new vaccine is 0.75. Suppose that 8 randomly patients with COVID are injected with a new vaccine. Find the probability that A3 will be cured. So, will be cured of course, and this 0.75 is the probability that will be cured, the patient will be cured. 
So our n is 8. There are 8 randomly selected patients. Our x is 3 by the problem, exactly 3. Our p is this 0.75. So no need to divide by 100% because 0.75 is not in percent. So automatic, you write 0.75. Our Q, therefore, is 0.25. Hence, using the formula, we'll have 0 0.0231. So we have this. Okay, letter B, at most 2. So at most 2, we have the highest number is 2. So we have X less than or equal to 2. So, we have 0, 1, and 2. So, we will compute for the 3 or this one is equal to P0, P1, and P2. The sum of these three. Okay, this is the substitution part. You may use your calculator. You may pause the video and try. So, up to 4 decimal places. So, we'll have zero, we have 0 0.004. Okay, letter C, at least 7 will be cured. Okay, so if you notice 7, so 7 and 8 only. So we may not use the complementation because there are, there are only 2 excess 7 and 8. We will only use complementation if the solution is long. So we have 7 and 8. Because it's at least 7 and our n is 8, so 7 and 8 only. So the answer is 0 0.3671. Again, you may pause the video and then use your calculator to check whether these are the correct values. Okay, number 7, example 7. The probability of a trainee hitting the target is 1 over 4. If he takes 7 shots, what is the probability of hitting the target? A, exactly 3 times. So N is 7 because he takes 7 shots. X is 3 because by the question, exactly 3 times. Our probability of success that hitting the target is 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 is 0.25. I think it's easier to input in your calculator the decimal rather than the fraction form. So Q, Q or the probability of failure is 0 0.75. Hence, using the formula, we have this. So the answer is 0 0.1730. That is the probability. Letter B, at least twice. Now, at least twice, at least meaning greater than or equal to 2. So that's why we have 2, 3, F27. So that is very long. Okay, so we will use complementation. This is very long. Okay, now if we use the complementation, or if I illustrate this, so we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here we only have 0 and 1. Okay, so to get this part, we will subtract the probability of 0 and 1. Okay, so the probability of 0 and 1. So using the calculator and the formula, so the answer is 0.5546. And last, at most once. So we have this. So at most once is this one. X less than or equal to 1. Right? X is equal, less than or equal to 1. So we have this. Now, take note that this is this. So, in short, we will compute for P of 0 plus P of 1. Now, so in, since we already computed for this in the previews, we have 0. This is P of 0 and P of 1. 1, 3, 3, 9, 3, 1, 1, 5. 
So, 0.1339 plus 0.3115115. So, we have 0. Point, this is 3. 4. 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. So 5. 9 plus 4, 14. 4. So the probability is 0. 0.4454. 4. Or actually, you can use the complementation because we already have the letter B. So the complementation for this is 1 minus the probability of x. I can rewrite this one as x less than 2, right? This is x less than 2. And by the previous problem, this is, or the complement, take note, the complement of greater, less than or equal is greater than 1, right? Greater than 1. Okay, so P of X less than or equal to 1. is just 1 minus the complement of P X greater than 1. Or I can rewrite this. Greater than or equal to 2. No, because after 1, it starts at 2. So, 1 minus the previous result, 0. 0.5546. And we will arrive with the same answer, 0. 0.4454.